we have new information specifications confirmed for the RX 6950 XT, 6750 XT, and the 6650 XT. These are final specifications as confirmed by AMD. The flagship Navi 21 GPU will rock a 335 watt TDP with a boost clock of 2310 megahertz. AMD's Radeon RX 6000 refresh series comes out next week and will include three graphics cards. You'll have the 6950 XT, the 6750 XT, and the 6650 XT. We have now been able to confirm the full and final specifications of all three models. So starting up with the lineup, the AMD RX 6000 RDNA 2 refresh lineup will come in three flavors. These include the Radeon RX 6950 XT, the Radeon RX 6750 XT, and the Radeon RX 6650 XT. These graphics cards aren't meant as an official replacement to the existing lineup, but more of a step up from where the current cards stand. The first look at these graphics cards was reported by video cards. The 6950 XT will be replaced or will be placed above the 6900 XT and the 6750 XT will be placed above the 6700 XT. You guys get the idea. Think of it as AMD's own super refresh, but without major upgrades. The lineup is expected to bring, bring performance increases ranging from 5 to 10%, and memory is going to play a huge role in achieving these performance targets. And memory as miners is what we want. So this is an amazing refresh for miners in particular. I know, I get it. They're talking about overall performance increase from five to 10%, but if we're talking about mining performance increase, well, get excited because that is going to be what this is focused on and where they're getting most of their performance boost. With the lineup out of the way, next up we are going to take a look at the individual specs each graphics card has to offer. The 6950 XT will come packed with the Navi 21 XT8XH GPU in its fully enabled die config featuring 80 compute units for 5120 SPs. The card will also feature 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory across a 256 bit bus. I like big buses and I cannot lie. There are also 80 ray accelerators for ray tracing and enablement on the graphics card, one RA per compute unit. The graphics card will operate at a GPU clock of 2.1 gigahertz and a boost clock of 2,310 megahertz. That's an increase of up to 4% over the 6900 XT reference model, which clocked at 2015 and 2250 megahertz respectively. The graphics card will offer up to 23.65 teraflops of peak FP32 performance. In addition to the standard memory, the 6900 XT graphics card will also feature 128 megabytes of infinity cache on the GPU die. The cache will help boost bandwidth for higher performance at resolutions beyond 1080p HD. The 128 megabytes of infinity cache boosts the standard 512 gigabytes a second bandwidth by three, delivering an effective bandwidth of up to 1.72 terabytes a second. The graphics card will feature 18 gigabit per second GDDR6 memory dies, delivering an effective bandwidth of 576 gigabytes per second. And the card will rock a 330 watt total board power, which is a 35 bu watt bump over the 6900 XT. So we're getting some pretty good specifications there. Let, let's go ahead and get out our percent calculator and start seeing what kind of boost we can expect here, right? So percent calculator out. The only other thing I need is 6,900 XT specifications because I forgot the total memory bandwidth on that particular card. So let me see if I can pull it up somewhere. Yeah, all right, so if we take a look, the bandwidth is 512 gigabytes per second. Let's go ahead and say, uh, is what of 512? We're getting a boost from 512 to 500 
and 70, oops, six, dang it, let me pull the calculator back up, uh, fat finger in it, it's the ring light, I swear, all right, what is 576 of 512, calculate that out, we're going to have 112%, so now we just need to say 112.5%, of what is fair. I can always hit 63 mega hash a second pretty easily. Calculate that out. We are looking at 70 mega hash a second on the prediction for the 6950 XT launch. Now, of course, the elephant in the room is, oh, why can't we get this 1.7 terabytes a second with the boost from the Infinity Cache? Why don't we have Team Red Miner or somebody figure this out? I know I'm not smart enough. But please, uh, it's just, ah, uh, it'd be so amazing. As for the design of the graphics card, it will ship with the same midnight black flavor as the 6800 XT limited edition with a two and a half slot cooler and a massive triple fan cooled heat sink and power provided by two eight pin connectors. So this one is looking exciting for the, obviously the pricing is going to be what brings it into kind of fruition and what we're going to be able to expect from an ROI perspective. But I think we can expect 70 mega hash a second, probably at much lower power consumption than 335, of course. Let's get into the 6750 XT specifications. The 67 50 XT will be packing the 22 XT GPU and feature 40 compute units, which are equal to 2,560 stream processors. The graphics chip also features 40 ray accelerators for ray tracing capabilities on the RDNA 2 based GPUs. The graphics card will come clocked at 2,495 megahertz game and 2,600 megahertz boost clocks, an increase of up to 3% versus the 2,424 megahertz game clock. The graphics card will feature 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, buffer along a 192-bit bus. AMD will be using the 18 gigabit per second dies, which could net a total bandwidth of 432 gigabytes per second. The GPU additionally packs 96 megabytes of cache. The effective bandwidth at 1,326 gigabytes a second with Infinity Cache, an increase of three. So if we wanted to calculate out this, we can go ahead and just go back to the percent calculator once again. And we can say, what is that of, uh, let's just do the 512 on the 68 or 69, uh, 6900 XT, that would be 84%. So we'll just calculate that and say what's 84% of 63 and calculate that out. We will be looking at the 6750 XT having a hash rate of 53 mega hash a second. That's my prediction. I'm going to stand by it. Now that we have all these numbers coming out, it's pretty exciting stuff. The GPU will be fully Gen 4 compliant. As for the total board power, the card will feature a 250 watt TBP, which is a 20 watt bump over the 6700 XT design. This is solely due to the use of the higher clock memory dies, which will lead to increased power consumption. So um, obviously tuning these, because most of the power does apparently be going to be going to the memory chips, that does mean the power will go up along with the hash rate more than likely. Lastly, we have the 6600 or 6650 XT graphics card, which will be powered by the Navi 23 XT GPU featuring 11 billion transistors and packed with a 237 millimeter squared die. It'll feature 32 compute units with a total of 2,048 stream processors. The card will also rock 32 megabytes of infinity cache and feature eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Memory capacity running across a 128 bit bus and they did slow the memory speeds down from 18 gigabits per second on the other two models to 17.5 gigabits per second. That gives you a total bandwidth of 280 gigabytes per second. And as we calculated before, this one comes out to 35 mega hash a second. We've already covered this one. So we don't really, I don't really need to run the numbers again for you guys. That being said, of course, the most enticing model here, 
to me is probably going to be the 6700X, 6750XT, which is the refresh of the 6700XT because over 50 mega hash a second plus, you know, the lower power consumption and lower price point really puts that in. I was initially very excited about the 6650XT, but the problem is, is of course, we're not getting that full fat 18 gigabits per second upgrade until you get to the 6750XT. So I'm actually leaning a little more towards that mid-tier card, that 6750XT for building a rig over the 6950XT or of course over the 6650XT. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.